Pangolins may become extinct in no time if concerted efforts and strategies are not in place to halt the decimation of the animal from the ecosystem. This follows the interception of more than 1.7 billion naira worth of pangolin scales by the Customs Strike for Zone A in Lagos. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Pangolin scales have become an attractive wildlife article for illegal traders who have made Nigeria a popular transit hub for illegal wildlife smuggling. Barely two months ago, more than 22 billion naira worth of pangolin scales and elephant talks were seized and showcased by the Nigeria Customs Service. This later seizure of 1,014 kilograms of pangolin scales and claws worth more than 1.7 billion naira increasingly reinforces concerns for an urgent response in tackling the illegal trade in wildlife. Okay. The Nigeria Customs Service says that intelligence enabled the tracking of the pangolin scales. We received another credible intelligence from same international partner, Wildlife Justice Commission, and swiftly deployed our intelligence operatives with a strike force as a SWAT team. This led to the interception of one Mercedes-Benz bus upon 100% examinations. The bus was found to contain the following, 15 bags of pangolin scares. The escalating illegal wildlife trade gets more worrisome considering that continuous contact with wildlife has been identified as a likely source for viral infections like the coronavirus which the United Nations has determined a zoonotic disease, indicating that it originated from animals, just like Ebola, bird flu, among others. This underscores the need for an urgent action plan to cripple the criminal network, more so with Nigeria being a popular transit hub. Nigeria is a signatory to Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. As a responsible member of the global community, we cannot allow our nation to be used as a conduit pipe for illegal trade on wildlife. These pangolin scales are more than 1,000 kilograms, an indication that hundreds of pangolins were butchered to get this volume of pangolin scales. This is a wake-up call to governments at all levels to strengthen policies and institutional frameworks that will combat trade in illegal wildlife at global, regional and national levels, not only to conserve biodiversity, but also to support sustainable development. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.